First day of practice, you make it pick six, right. take it to the house. Yeah. I mean, you're trying to impress the coach day one. It's right. not a bad way to do it. Yeah, absolutely. I just want to come out here and put my best foot forward first day. Um, but there's a lot of improvement to be done. Um, I'm never satisfied with just that. So i got to come out the next day and the day after that, you know, trying to get better each day. Does that raise the bar for you, knowing that you can play at this level, to say, okay, now i got to go out there and do it on a consistent basis? Absolutely. i got a very high standard for myself. I'm going to hold myself to a very high level. And uh, I expect great things for myself, and so do the people back home and in here. So um, that's something that I've always had as a kid, and uh, I've carried that with me now. And so it's only greater now. <laughs> do you feel like that you represent the community as well when you're out here trying to make the team? Absolutely. Uh, I'm trying to be a great role model for kids back home and all around and just kind of share my story of, you know, it doesn't matter circumstances, where you come from or what happens to you in your life. You know, you're, you're the decider of your future and what you want to do with your life. So um, I've just been trying to be a great mo role model and uh, influence people all around the world. Was being a rookie free agent, not being selected in a draft, just the latest obstacle, if anything else, along your absolutely, way? Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. I was talking to a, a kid back home, man. I was just saying it's another stepping stone in the story. Um, it's just another chapter that one day I'll be able to say, yeah, this kid overcame a broken back and um, went undrafted, didn't get a combine invite, but now he's a you know, two-time Super Bowl champion and you know, Pro Bowl. So, um, yeah, yeah I, I definitely look at it like that for sure. What's it like when you come into this locker room and you have guys like Malcolm, you right. have Rodney, and you look at the cornerbacks, right. right. and you, you're smiling. Man, because man, it's, it's exciting, man. I mean, this, this, this is the best leadership that I've ever been around. I mean, just true vets. You know, you got Jink that's you know played. This is a 10 season. And you got Rod that's been in the league for almost for eight years now. Who also wasn't selected in the draft. Exactly. Me and him, I kind of identify with him really well. You know, he he went to L.A. You know, he you know he proved a point. Doesn't matter if you're undrafted. Same thing Corey did last year. Um, so. It's all about what you do when you get here. Um, the hard part is staying here and not getting here. So I was going to ask you, do you look at the guys like Corey? I mean, you look at Jason Peters, right. future Hall of Famer, right. was selected in the draft. Yeah. Do you look at those guys and say, it's possible? Oh, absolutely, man. I mean, it's all around the league. You know, you got guys now that are coming in hungry that are undrafted. And, you know, they're, they're putting up numbers that drafted guys in first round picks are putting up. It doesn't matter when you were selected. Um, it, didn't, it didn't hurt my feelings or anything, you know, when the draft was over. Um, I know what kind of football player I am. I know what I bring to the table. Yeah. The organization here did too, so um, I'm excited, man. It's exciting being around these guys, Jink and, and Rod and you know Darby and Razul. They've been you know big great leadership to me coming in and helping me out a lot. So it's gonna be a big year. I'm excited. So what was the driving force for you signing with Philadelphia? Oh man, just this this place, you know, the championship mindset. Uh, I've never won a championship, um, man. Coming into any the, level, Pop Warner, never, high school, never, man. And I've always had that hunger for it. Um, it's something that I've never received. Baseball came up short, football came up short. So uh, that's something that I've always wanted. I've always wanted to hold up a championship trophy. And uh, coming here, I mean, they just came off another one. And uh, <laughs> they were going to make another run again. So uh, that was definitely a driver push coming here. You know, it's a rock and full of champions. You know, they got the mindset, and they, they've done it as well. So definitely, this place was, uh, this, I felt like it was the best fit for me, too, as well. You also look at the roster and say, look, Malcolm Rodney certainly set the top. But the depth is a bit of a question mark at the safety position coming in there. Do you look at that and say, Look, I can step in and, you know, try to challenge to be that number three safety. I mean, yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's a lot of great competition. we got Trey here that was here last year that uh, me and him kind of have resemblance. We play the same. Um, and you got Chris Marigos as well um, coming off injury. So, yeah, we've had a, a, a lot of guys, you know, and I, and I personally can say that. I looked at the depth chart to say that, you know, it's a lot of great competition. I felt like I could come in and contribute um, to this team as well, as special teams, and, uh, and just compete, you know, for that third safety spot. So I'm excited about it. Um, I've been licking my chops since we left, and uh, I'm ready to get after it, for sure.